It's happening again, everyone. I'm going on a trip, and it's time for a capsule wardrobe. Yo, yo. Where I'm going is gonna be really, really hot and humid, which is basically like, you know, like this. It's just really hard to find like summer appropriate clothing, especially because like summer is not my favorite season at all whatsoever, even though I was born in it. So yeah, my options are very limited. Also, you guys are seeing my new walls. I think I might take this down actually, because I don't know, the color doesn't look that nice with the white walls now, but Anyways, I'm not even gonna play right now and be like, look at all my options or anything because it's not like that at all whatsoever. I went through my wardrobe trying to pick out potential options and this was just literally like the best of the bunch that I could find. Oh, I didn't even say where I'm going. So I'm gonna be going to Italy for like two weeks and then I will be going to Lisbon doing the whole trip with my sister. It's obviously summertime. It's gonna be really hot and <sighs> Unlike when I went to Tokyo where I was able to have a bunch of different options, got to like layer and everything. So what I'm going to fall back on is just styling it in different ways, AKA <laughs> just basically wearing a bunch of different scarves. I wish I could have like a beret, but I think my sisters would kill me if I came through with a beret. <laughs> Let's do a quick rundown of what I am bringing. Every time I fly, I always have to have my jean jacket. I mean like the best thing to wear, it has a bunch of pockets so I could put stuff in it if my luggage was overweight or whatever. I recently got this dress from my friend's shop, Mescalado. This is House of Sunny. Even though this is like definitely thick, this is 60% viscose and 40% nylon. Probably is gonna be something that I'll wear more during like nighttime, like evening kind of thing. Also, the thing that is a little bit difficult in packing is that I don't really know exactly what we're doing. Moving along. Next thing is this dress. Really how I'm feeling for this trip is like easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. Oh, it's, it's rayon. Okay, it's rayon. I want to wear something that is just gonna be like flowy, nothing that is gonna be too tight on my stomach. Like I just want to be like, I want to feel like I'm on vacation. Everyone's traveling style is very different. I would suggest whenever you're going on a trip, try to figure out what it is that you're actually doing and then try to, you know, figure out your outfits from there. I'm just kind of going on like, we're just chilling, breezy. I'm gonna go to the beach. Kind of thing. I really just love this dress. I think I'll probably wear this to the airport. This is gonna be a really great dress so I could layer other clothes underneath it just in case if I have to. We never know, okay, but we're gonna prepare beforehand. Next thing is this dress that even though it's so cute, it's not like super breathable, I would say, but I love that it's a short little bouncy flouncy kind of little dress, so that's why I'm bringing it. For the first time, I was like on TikTok trying to find inspiration, like what is it that I should bring what I've seen is just like neutral colors and like everyone kind of looks the same and just in different fonts and that's not how I'm trying to look like no tea no shade so moving along I'm probably gonna be in this dress for most of the time <laughs> because this is just like it's she's the best she's the absolute best I love her it's great fabric it's super flowy really breathable it looks really cute dress it up when I have to and I keep it casual when I have to which probably will be most of the time this is something I'm not completely convinced on regular little button up I'm gonna try to see how this looks like with these outfits if it doesn't fit then I'm just gonna take it out but it would have been great to have brought like an oversized white button up because I think it's a really great way to just have a little overthrow if it's a little bit chillier during the night or if you're going someplace where you need to be covered up and you're wearing something that's a little bit too revealing. Moving along to bottoms. At first I didn't know if I was gonna bring this but you know what I think I really need some kind of like tiered skirt. I really wanted to bring that white one that I recently thrifted but that material is not good for the summer. So that's why I opted for this one. So I went for this skirt that I wore last summer and this uh, served me really well. I even thought like, oh, maybe I should go for a certain type of color palette or something. I don't even have that. I was like, I just need to make this work. I'm gonna bring whatever would be good for the summertime and then we're just gonna make it work. Okay, we're gonna make it work, <laughs> Tim Gun. You guys might recognize this because this used to be a dress. It did say like you had to have it dry cleaned and I just put it in the wash and something happened that it just made the fabric be like paper. It's legit like paper. It rips like nothing. Look at that. 
Ugh. I was trying to repair it, you know, do my little like hand stitch. I was trying to close up all the rips because that's what my sister has suggested. Wish I could have just kept it as a dress, but unfortunately it's just coming apart and there was no other way. So I made this into a skirt and this is something that like I was influenced. I really was influenced, yo. Because, you know me, I like to wear everything high-waisted because I'm short and I've seen just like so many people not just being afraid of just showing their stomach and stuff, which is something that I still definitely feel like uh, with. Decided to make this kind of mid to low rise and I could wear it a little bit more low rise. I don't know if I'm gonna be totally just always like rocking my stomach out like that, but maybe I might be. And so I'm really excited to wear this and see like how does that make me feel. He said I thrift flipped from a dress and I made it into like a two-piece but I'm still a little bit on the fence of like I don't know if I should actually bring this or not maybe I should just stick with the longer skirts or something I don't know I don't know I don't know so now we get to the tops I don't have much. I have this black little crop top that I always wear for summertime that's always like my go-to i'm excited for this it's this cotton one shoulder little top and it's just in a neutral color girl i wear this crop top anytime it is summertime this is the crop top i'm wearing like I wear the shit out of her like like you could tell like she's been loved she has been loved i really like the square neckline i think that's really cute and then we get to this top that i actually decluttered when i was putting these things together and I was like dude I don't have anything else and I was like wait a minute I remembered that I decluttered this the big reason why I decided to not keep it I liked how it looked on me but I knew that I wouldn't actually really get a lot of use out of it because it's so revealing and that's something that I'm not completely comfortable with and especially living in Korea but being I was like wait a minute I'm gonna be in a different country I'll actually I think have the courage to wear this out that's it for my clothes it's honestly not a lot by the time you're watching this I have left i'm actually meeting up with karina i'm so excited we're gonna meet up for like two days but yeah i'm leaving on the 25th i'm coming back on the 14th so that's like 21 days even though two of those days are gonna be traveling time so is this enough <laughs> these are the accessories that are gonna be helping me change it up first off we got the black neck scarf listen do not underestimate the little neck scarf okay i'm gonna be showing you every outfit i'm gonna be like neck scarf next scarf. and i'm not sure if i'm gonna bring it but i'm gonna see when we put outfits together if it works this little thin scarf that i got from asos this i thrifted from vin prime i absolutely adore this it just like brings that extra something to my outfits i just really hope that it's gonna go with the things that i'm bringing you know next one is this one and the last one that i'm not sure if i'm gonna bring or not this is like a regular scarf maybe i could like make it into like a little top or something but does it even go with any of these things that i'm bringing not really my other thing was like what if i you know wore it like this but it's like bitch your sister is saying that it's so hot and you're gonna be wearing this i don't know maybe in my fantasy I can wear this. Then we have these three potential bucket hats. Gingham one. I hope that she goes with some of the outfits. She might not. This one I know for a fact is coming with me because any summer thing like this green bucket hat. She's the MVP girl. She's the MVP. Then I have this bucket hat from Studio Fantastique. If it goes with the looks that I'll that I'll be creating, then I'll bring them. And, oh, I guess I'll show you my bathing suit. Uh, this is from Weekday, and I was thinking since it's like a little halter thing, maybe I could also use this as a top. And this would definitely go with the skirts that I'm bringing. So potential other outfits. Oh God, I love this bathing suit so much. This is from Okio. It's so cute. This is like me. This is me in a bathing suit. This one, unfortunately, does not go with my... Maybe... Mm. Oh, let me show you my shoes. Am I bringing too much? I'm trying to bring five pairs of shoes. Is that a lot? Is five too much for 21 days? I guess it really depends on like how much space I have in my luggage. The other thing is like I don't want to bring so many things because I'm sure I'll find like a thrift shop. I will find some like cute stuff that I want to bring and I'll be like, damn, I don't have space and I don't want that to happen. Maybe I'll try to narrow it down to four. <laughs> Starting off with your regular schmegulars, I have these Adidas. Wow, they look really bad. I have to clean them. But yeah, they're cute, they're comfortable. These are tried and true. They've been through it. I've walked so much in these, so I know that I can wear them on this trip 
when I was like on TikTok and trying to see like what kind of shoes like you should bring and stuff, people are like, you will be walking so much. Like everything is cobblestone. Like you're gonna be walking 20,000 steps a day. And I'm like, this is really, <laughs> Sorry, I don't I don't want that to sound mean, but I feel like the people that put that are normally from America It really shows you like so many people do not live in walkable cities like I live in a walkable city 20,000 steps isn't like <gasps> Crazy because I'm like yeah, I've walked that in a day and like walking that in like heels And that's just like what you do because you just walk so much here America Unfortunately is just car dependent and when really we should be living in walkable cities If you guys want to know more about like urban planning all this stuff and basically like just have your whole mind just blown Please go check out these channels. I love watching them And this just really solidified the fact that I never want to live in a car dependent place like it's just no <laughs> Anyways moving along. I bought these recently I've had a style of these for my other trips and they're really really comfortable last time I got them in black But this time I got them them in like ivory because I feel like it'll go better with my wardrobe since I have a lot of colors and they're quite light anyways. I feel like some people might be looking at my shoe choices and are like, girl, you're gonna be bringing that? And it's like, yes, because you don't understand how much I've walked in these shoes, okay? Walk a mile in my shoes. I've worn these a lot. They're really comfortable, you know, and it's a color. I want to bring them. I bought this when I got these. <sighs> These strappy sandals, y'all know, cause I've told you, I have wide ass feet, okay? I got these in a size seven and a half so that the straps would be a little bit bigger. This is definitely not like walking every day kind of shoe, but I would hope like at nighttime if we're gonna go to like a little restaurant or something, or if I wanna just like dress up and look cute, these are gonna be the shoes I'm gonna be wearing. I know it's a lot. My sisters are like, don't overpack, don't overpack. And I'm like, I'm trying not to. So now let's try to put some outfits together. I'm not gonna do all of them okay i'm just gonna do some first off <laughs> i'm gonna wear this dress throw some chanclas boom outfit one good to go this is gonna be my airport outfit sneakers <laughs> i mean just in case if my luggage is too heavy yeah look at that it works and it doesn't look stupid <laughs> it's like a petticoat oh who could have said to wake up it's the albies Albie, you want to come oh god Jesus. I mean like these these shoes are really good shoes to dress up, but it's like is it worth it? Buy this. This is cute. No, yeah, this totally works. I feel like those and these are kind of similar, but I like that these are a little bit taller. Okay, what if we wanted to make it more casual? With the black in these chunk glass. Hoping that this goes. Really want to bring my pink headband, but I have no idea where it is. Oh, I think this red scrunchie is gonna help. With, since I have a lot of red in uh, this capsule wardrobe, yeah, cute. I like it. Love it. I forgot to mention that this button up is a potential substitute for this button up. The thing is, this is not breathable at all whatsoever. It's just a nice color. I really don't think this goes with anything that I have in my wardrobe. No, definitely no, girl. No. I guess I could wear it with these chat glass, but actually, let's make it fun. Cute, right? I think this is gonna be way too hot, but you never know. Let's make it dressed up. Let's see, would this work? Really think this is probably the only outfit that this button up goes with, so I'm probably not gonna bring this. If that's the case, would I then bring this one? Um, can definitely go with more of the stuff that I have. She's a maybe. She's a maybe. That looks cute, right? I know that these are not the most practical, but just the fact that I know that they will make everything look good. One, they're white. The heel isn't too high. But that's why I'm like, oh, I want to see how this looks like with sneakers. I really need to wash these sneakers. Does that look weird? She's a maybe. I really want to know where my pink headband is because I know she would go with a lot of these looks. But I'm definitely bringing this one. I know how many ways I can rock this dress. And of course I'm bringing safety shorts because we already know. Man, I'm nasty. I'm not 100% convinced if I'm going to bring this. I think I'm leaning towards the no. Yeah, I'm not going to bring this. Okay. Boom. One thing out. Casual, casual. Chancletones. Would this work? This might be really hot though. Still on the fence about this. I feel like it's just gonna be hot. So, I don't know. <laughs> 
Does this look dumb? I feel like the red dress and this one, like I know what they can give. 100% I'm sure I'm gonna be in this dress for most of the trip. <laughs> Casual, vaginal. <laughs> okay, cute. Yeah, I think definitely bringing this skirt is gonna be a good thing. Potential look, potential look. Let's add in some color. I'm bringing these green jumpers. Switch out the bucket hats. New look, new look. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy that I didn't sell this, nor did I donate it because it's gonna it's gonna live a life this summer. So what if I wore it as a dress and paired it with cute and let's do the other one. No, yeah, that's cute. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah. Oh my God, this is so cute, dude. I'm so excited to wear this. Oh yeah, most deaf, most deaf. This is good. What this? How does this hat work for? Oh, I can wear my breast scrunchie. Love, 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 love. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> cute, very cute. Yo, yay, this works. Yay, this works. Potential. I'm still on the fence about bringing this. So let's see if this will be change my mind. What do y'all think? Hmm. This could also work, I think. We have a wild card bringing in the bathing suit. Throw on sneakers. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. I don't know. <laughs> Just got chanclas, happy chanclas. Cute. You know, I don't really like showing off my arms all that much, but it's like a certain way of showing it. If it's like a dress that's like this, like this, and my arms are just showing, like I really don't like it. But I feel like because there's all of this skin that is showing, it doesn't make me feel so self-conscious about my arms. This is a skirt that, you know, it's, she's not, she's like, I honestly never thought that I would like wearing something like mid-rise but I think what really helps it is the fact that this is still so wide, so it gives me volume rather than being low and then just being like skinny jeans or something, you know? Wow, this honestly looks like it's one, like this is a dress. I love how the colors match perfectly together. You already know, bada bing, bada boom. Let's put on, how adorable. Wow, I really love this skirt. Yeah, as you can see, I'm barely going towards my sneakers because like, I think with the sneakers, I'll probably wear my sneakers more with my dresses. I'm really still on the fence about this. It does take like kind of like a minute to get into and it's not as easy breezy as the rest of these. Wait, but we can't deny that this doesn't look cute. Dang. Okay, maybe I will bring this. How about Stop, this is cute. Damn, this is cute. How about doing the little black scarf? I'm getting excited. I honestly was really worried about like, what am I exactly gonna be wearing? Wasn't really confident with the amount of things that I have. And now I'm feeling good. I'm like, no girl, there's options. There's options, okay? Accessories are everything. See, this is where my pink headband would look really good, but I don't know where it is, but I will find her. I will find you, girl. I feel like a lot of my outfits are like not to be walking around the city, but I really don't know. I honestly feel like I should be fine because I live in Korea and we walk so much up and down stairs, running to grab the train. And it's also hot and humid here. So I feel like it should be okay. And you know what? I never tried wearing this as a dress. I'm gonna look like a loofah, but that's fine. Okay, no, I think this looks cute. The viewfinder is very small, but I really feel like this looks cute. <laughs> and this fits perfect. Yeah, I think this skirt is definitely coming with me. I guess it's gonna be too hot, but. All right, I think this is gonna be the final look that I'm gonna show you because I was like, I'm not gonna show you all the outfits and I feel like I should show enough, a lot, I think. <laughs> so now let's weigh this and see how heavy it is.
my camera doesn't have any more storage and I don't feel like deleting anything because I filmed a lot this week and anyways anyway I wanted to wear my sneakers to the airport but these are heavier than the sneakers so I'm just gonna be wearing these all of this is 6.6.75 kilos and my max I believe is 8 or 10 kilos for my checked in I think we're gonna be okay I still have to put in makeup and skincare I think skincare is definitely gonna weigh more my makeup I am gonna bring very very minimal makeup these days I've just been wearing like blush and kind of doing my brows and doing a lip and like leaving the rest simple and being that's gonna be hot anyways I don't think you know like I'm not gonna be wearing like big ass like makeup and yeah so I think we'll be all right by the time that this video comes up I should be already be arriving in Naples so I will see you guys there thanks so much for watching catch you guys in the next one bye